Hello everyone and welcome to the DeerCast. Uh, today we are talking about the Blaza shooting sticks, which Harry has owned since the stalking show, so can't remember if that was sort of March, April time, but um, I don't know, six months or so now? Something like that. Yeah, shot a, and, shot a couple of deer with them. Enjoying them? Yeah, I I am. I think they are um they got some they got some positives and they got they got some negatives to them, but in all, they they do take a bit of getting used to. Yeah. Um, but I think now that I am settled into them, um, they've actually been really good. So these are, um, like Tom says, Blaza. I think they're called the Blaza Carbon Shooting Sticks Two. Yeah. So I think this this is the second iteration of them. Um, they are, as the name suggests, carbon fibre. So pretty lightweight. So the legs are carbon fibre, and then the top piece. So you've got this pivoting bit, which is plastic, uh, and then you get sort of rubber tops. Um, so just going over the sort of positive bits of it mm. the the main draw for me anyway I don't know about most people aside from them being carbon fiber is the the tilting panning front so the idea obviously is when you've got your when you've got your rifle on the front you've got about 10 or 15 degrees of, of pan with the front so Which, if you're if you're tracking a it adds up to quite a lot it, it does distance, yeah, yeah. Isn't it? and yeah. the further away something is obviously the more of a pan that you have but that is, is is so helpful and it just means that you haven't got to move that or I, I mean I know with the um, uh, you know with the Viper Flex or whatever you do sort of you can shuffle it along the front yeah part but it's not it's you. nowhere near as smooth as that no it is really smooth and you've got this nice for this rifle anyway you've got this nice little cradle that holds the whole thing in really yeah. nicely so you don't get any wobble and cradle can be swapped out yeah can't it yeah so that's another quite cool thing if you've got a Spartan adapter on your rifle that comes out. There's a little um, adapter thing that comes with it. You pop that in, and then you can literally click your magnetic yeah. Spartan bipod adapter into there, um, and you do away with that. I haven't tried that, so I can't really comment. But um, you know, the whole the whole system actually works superbly well. And I've used it a, a lot, and it's, mm. a, it's a real advantage. Um, other good bits: the design. You know, it's it's very well thought out. It's got a nice, you know, the the sticks kind of click in nicely to the handle, so they don't fling about. Um, they've got good stops on them. The um, they don't whistle like I know a lot of the Viperflex yeah. ones do tend to. They seem to be quite well made. Um, I haven't had them for more than a year now, but I mean, I've used them a hell of a lot, and um, you know they've held up pretty well. The, the one of the complaints people do have are these little um, uh, plastic. But these are only plastic. These little knob, knobbly bits here, and if you shut them in a car door, they will. Snap, yeah, okay. snap off. So yeah. they're, they're very blazer in terms of the way they're designed, aren't they? Yeah. In terms of these all these all bits being at different heights, so it, it, when it comes together, yeah. it's you can see exactly. someone spent a lot of time so sort of engineering it. Yeah. Exactly. So you haven't got them at the same height, so they don't they, they yeah. mesh nicely, which is you know quite clever. Um, and you've not had any problems with because on a lot of very cheap shooting sticks with these kind of mm. cam locking systems, if you press them hard enough, they'll. Shut in I'll, come on, I'll come on to this. Oh no, I'm okay. The outside, outside okay. So, gone over the good bits. The bad bits, I guess, about them. Um, firstly, we use uh, the, the fifth leg quite a lot on the Viper yeah. and on like the Sealand shooting sticks, you can clip the fifth leg yeah. quite easily and it works really well. On this, on these sticks, it doesn't really work because the leg is shorter at the front. So, when you click on your Viper Flex or whatever it is, fifth leg, it kind of it's, it's either too long and then it, it it goes beyond the bottom of the existing mm. ones, or it's too short and you end up leaning forward very much. So it doesn't really work with the design of it. Um, other things, they don't have a stopper for sending them out. So with the Viper Flex ones, I know they yeah. stop at about there, which is kind of perfect for you to put your rifle on. So sometimes I found myself letting go and then it's like that, and then you've got to kind of you know, you're putting the rifle on, you're sort of like. You know, you're doing a bit of that. And it's just it just makes it a bit more awkward. Like I feel they could have quite easily engineered something in the joint, yeah. Something to stop it. Um it does come with a little piece of string that clicks onto these bits that does stop it or whatever. It's just it just gets all caught up and you know, it's more stuff and it and it falls off and it's just not very well thought through. So that is a downside. I mean I'm kind of used to now I've worked out a way of not doing it, so I hold the front and then I do it and then I you know, so it, it's fine, you just have to get used to that. Yeah, um, yeah the other big downside I, I realised when I first got it was the cams. These have to be really, really tight. 
otherwise they do move and they're really fiddly when you when you move them because if they're not set at the right level that if they're even slightly out then this won't mesh in properly um, and, and have they got sort of within them because you've got different notches there mm. did, is there any sort of positive no, steps it, inside it no it's, it's just literally a tube. completely free, it's literally okay. just a free. i won't undo it because you do really have to crank them to get them tight um, once they're tight they're fine but once setting them up is a bit of a faff um other things i mean there, there's I've, I've found a little bit of wobble in this sort of headstock unit yeah because you've got a joint here and you've got a joint here so you get you get, you get a bit of wibble in, wiggle wobble in them um, but again it's the sort of thing you kind of get used to and you kind of get over when you when I do it now I hold this and I actually hold the rifle as well so I've got a bit more stability um, but overall I mean I'm, I'm really happy with them um, the, the comparison to these are the Viperflex carbon which we just looked at which were 3, 330 330 these are 280 you can get them for on bushware so you know they are a lot of money yeah um but cheaper than but i mean we should point out these are the carbon fiber version so you yeah. can get cheaper viper flex out there but equally the equivalent carbon fiber viper flex are more expensive than these yeah yeah and you can't get i mean these, these are the only ones plus do they don't do it yeah you know having an any one of the cheapest this is this is it basically yeah. um, at the minute so given your time again mm. if you were given the choice of those or the equivalent viper flex yeah. which would you go for I would probably, I'd probably go for the aluminium Viperflex. Okay. Because I think they're better build quality. They're not that much heavier, really. Um, they're just a lot more sturdy. Uh, and they've um, also got that nice thing where you've got the handle that sets the opening yeah. length. I didn't talk about that, but that, that's another thing. I mean, I like them, don't get me wrong, and I wouldn't, I'm not going to chuck them away because I think they're great, but if I was to spend the money again, yeah. I'd probably save myself 50 quid or 80 quid and buy a aluminium set instead of Viperflex. Well, there you go, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. Um, uh, please like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.